to go to Apple Valley. So let me just make sure the car is locked. <laughs> now we go to our hangar. It's right there, Mike 3. That's number two, number three, Mike. It's on watch. Uh, and then put in the passcode for safety. Open the door. And we're in. So we're gonna close the door. Make sure both of these chocks are locked. That is locked, and this is not unlocked. So that's our number two, one, two, no, Victor plane right there. It's big, very big. So now we're gonna put up the hanger. Press up, which says right here. And that's our finger. Go up. First it says documents arrow, air stands for airworthiness certificate, R stands for registration certificate, and R stands for radio license, which we don't need in America, US. And you can find these stuff all in this little batch here. It's hard to take them out. And I finally took them out. So this is the airworthiness certificate. And then, this is the registration certificate. Oh, I was holding it upside down. Okay. I'll put these back. It's hard to put them back more than to take them out. Ugh. Yo, get in there. I can't put them in. Oh, I finally put them back in. It was so hard. So, then this O stands for, which is on here, O stands for operating handbook, which is, I can't, ah, ooh, wait, wait, ah, wait, ah, ooh, so hard, mm, good. So, this is the operating handbook, and then last it says, weights in balance stands for W, which is inside the operating handbook, and it's right in weights and balance. So, this is the weights and balance page. Let me just find it quickly. And, nope, not there. Yeah, right here. So this is the useful load. It says 851. That's how much pounds it can hold. So now we can close our 
book, which is literally a book, and put it back here. So then it says avionics off. Make sure the avionics is off. And the avionics is off. So then it says battery master 2 on. This is the battery master 2, so let's turn that on. And that should come up. So then it says avionics fan audible. And if you can hear, there's a fan inside this. So, just listen. Yeah. So, then it says voltmeter, 23, 25 volts. Here's the voltmeters. So, this is the voltmeter right here. And it's in 24, which is the middle of 23 and 25. So, that's good. Then it says flat position light. So this is the flat position light, and it's out, so, battery master 1 on, first we did battery master 2, now we're doing battery master 1, and that should come on, and the flaps is going to turn on, when we turn on battery master 1, and lights, check then off, we have to check the lights, so, we're just going to do a I shouldn't do land. It's already daytime. We can't check it. So then it says uh, fuel quantity. Check fuel. So it's good. Right there. Right high. So then fuel selector to the fullest tank. So it's already on the fullest tank. If we have to change it, we're gonna take this out and then change it to the other one, but we don't need to do that right now. And then flaps 100% check light on. So we're going to have to put this to 100%. And it went down. And that went down. So then it's check light on, you see? These are the flaps right there, which just extended. These are the flaps, and it's 100% check light on. So then we can put these back up. That goes up. And that goes up. Good. So then it says oil enunciator on. So, and in this section, this is the oil enunciator right here, this one light. So this has to be on and it's on, so that's good. So then it says battery masters. These battery masters should be both off. So let's turn them back off. Battery master one, and that turned off. Battery master two, that turned off. Good. Then it says circuit breakers in. All the circuit breakers, which are right here, these help the plane if there's any emergency. They should be in. If anything is out, then... And they look like they're all in. A fire extinguisher charged available. So, the fire extinguisher is right over here. It's too dark to see it, if you can. Yeah, right there. Yes. So, if we press this red button, it'll go shoot out. So then it says, aggress hammer stowed. So, let me just take off these headsets. So this is the aggress hammer and these two headsets, the wire plugs, these are where the wires go. These have all the wire informations and all this. These are where the wires go. And this is the aggress hammer. So what the grass hammer does is, you s if the plane's door is not working and you can't get it out, you smack the grass hammer out, and then you can get out of the plane. Uh, but you have to do that before 
see, it says, you have to do that before the injury because right here, it says, remove a breast hammer from within center hammer slid. Strike corner of window, kick or push after fracturing. After fracturing, you have to kick or push. So, caps handle pin removed. And cap stands for Cirrus Airplane Parachute System. So where we can find this is up here. We have to make sure this is available. So let's just take this out. Oh no, okay. So then we take this pin out. If you don't take it out how much force you take, it will not budge. So take pin out. So this is the pin. And let's just put it right here. Okay, okay. Then it says baggage door secure. So let's go outside and you will find the baggage door. Okay, so this is the baggage door and it's opened. It's closed actually. And we have to check all the antennas now. So that antenna is good. There's another here. That looks good. That looks good. So now it says, and there's one antenna here. And that looks good, kind of. Sturdy. So then it says, control surfaces, hinges, and conditions. There's one control surface here. And it's under here, so. Let's just check it. Yeah, that looks good. So now let's check this one. And that looks good. So this time it's a uh, rudder. So this is the hinge for the rudder. It's a bit dirty. And we don't touch here, but we touch here. So let's just move it, see if it's working. And it looks like it's working correctly. So then there's another control. There's another hinge down here. Yeah, right here. So then, let's just check if it's working. And it looks like it's working. Correctly. So let's check the other one. Same thing as we did before. And it's correct. Uh, inspection ports. Here's the inspection port. Here's the static port, and it looks like it's clear. And we need it clear because it feeds into the vertical speed indicator, the airspeed indicator, and the altimeter. So then it says there's another static port over here. This one also feeds to the same thing. So, and it looks clear, very clear. And then we do the fuel strainer. And this little tool right here helps us do the fuel strainer. So, we're gonna plug this in. And it's gonna, we have to collect all the samples. If there's moisture, it's gonna settle down to the bottom and that means it's bad. So there's one right here and it's hard to get to. You don't come down here. And then plus a bit. Collecting all the samples. <clears throat> That's good. So this is the sample. like there's no moisture. <laughs> so then there's another one right here. And it's hard to get to a 
Van Nuys Goon, number 212, Lima Victor, approaching Alpha 2 with Kilo. November 212, Lima Victor, Van Nuys Ground, taxi up to hold short runway 34 left at Delta. Hold short runway 34 left at Delta, to Lima Victor. Kick talks better than most pilots. Thank you. I can confirm that's not flattery, that's accurate. There's two Lima Victor, cross runway 34 left, cross runway 34 right, runway 34 right, taxi via Bravo Juliet. Cross runway 34 left, cross runway 34 right, Bravo Juliet to 34 right, Lima Victor. 